Thank you. Tonight we're awaiting word on whether or not Alabama death row inmate Kenneth Smith is dead. The state using an, his execution to carry out a first of its kind method using nitrogen gas. While we wait for those developments, we want to take a closer look at this untested plan and the arguments being raised against it. Here's Lilia Luciano. Today, three people have been charged with Mrs. Sennett's death. In 1988, Kenneth Eugene Smith was one of three people paid $1,000 in the murder for hire of Elizabeth Durleen Senate, a plot engineered by her husband. Smith was sentenced to death. Alabama failed the first time by lethal injection in 2022. This time, the state will use nitrogen hypoxia, a gas delivered through a mask. In their arguments to the Supreme Court, Smith and his lawyers stated a second attempt at execution would be a violation of his constitutional rights and amount to cruel and unusual punishment. The high court declined to intervene or give an explanation. In an earlier two to one ruling, a federal appeals court had declined to stop the execution, stating in part, there's no doubt that death by nitrogen hypoxia is both new and novel, but that Smith failed to prove how it violates a constitutional ban on cruel and unusual punishment. Smith spoke to NPR last December. I'm still carrying trauma from the last time. I'm being treated for PTSD and I, I struggle daily. Everybody is telling me that I'm going to suffer. The untested and untried method is the country's newest form of execution since 1982. Alabama is one of three states, along with Oklahoma and Mississippi, that allows for the use of nitrogen gas in executions. But Alabama did not have an approved protocol for the method until this past August. If a little bit of nitrogen gas gets out because the mask fit is not perfect, then the time to death will be, of course, prolonged. And, and so may the suffering. Joel Zivit is a professor of anesthesiology and surgery at Emory University. He says there are unknown risks for this never before seen method, especially for those who will be in the room. When they're killing people, they really should be knowing how to do it. The nitrogen gas could leak from the mask. And so whether or not that would be enough nitrogen in the room to actually have an effect on people, it's not clear. Experts say Alabama is considering this new alternative in part because of its failed track record of executions. Using executioners who have basically no training in what they're supposed to do and a protocol, then you end up having very serious problems. Hanging, lethal gas, electrocution, lethal injection. This road has led to Alabama using nitrogen hypoxia. Deborah Deno is a professor of law at Fordham University who has studied the death penalty for over 30 years. Kenneth Smith is definitely a guinea pig. I mean, he's going to be subject to a method of execution, which as far as we know, has never been used in the history of the world. Alabama and other states are starting to explore other options since those who administer the executions have been reporting having trouble finding veins in prisoners and other issues during the executions, which they say could lead to a prolonged, painful, and traumatic experience. And states like Alabama have reported shortages of the drugs that are used in the procedure since many pharmaceutical companies have opposed that states use their medication or have even dropped manufacturing them altogether. CBS News has reached out to Smith's attorney regarding today's execution. We have not heard any comments. Lilia Luciano, CBS News, New York. Now, Arkansas continues to have a lethal injection protocol in the books that uses a cocktail of three drugs to carry out a death sentence. But like those other states that Luciano referred to, those drugs have been impossible to procure. The state hasn't carried out an execution since 2017 when four of eight longtime death row inmates died as Governor Asa Hutchison and then Attorney General Leslie Rutledge pushed to use the state's lethal injection drugs before they expired. 